All righty, Virginia, we won this thing! Republican victory shattered Democrats' decade-long winning streak in Virginia. The GOP took the governor's mansion and the legislature in a state that voted heavily in favor of Joe Biden just one year ago. In New Jersey, what should have been a cakewalk turned into a dogfight. The Democratic governor barely won re-election. There's no easy answer for what went wrong for the party in power. Local issues like education dominated in Virginia. Democrats tried to make the campaign a referendum on Donald Trump. But it may have been the economy and fears about inflation that won the night for Republicans everywhere. This is one of the issues that really flew below the radar in, the, in these elections and is really having a uh, significant impact because people are not trusting the Biden administration and uh, Democratic incumbents to handle it. If Democrats misjudge the mood of the nation, Republicans seized upon it. Both parties are trying to find a winning strategy for the 2022 midterms when control of Congress is up for grabs. The deep political division in the U.S. has actually caused both parties to suffer from the exact same problem. Their biggest names are deeply unpopular. President Joe Biden's approval rating sits at just 42.9%. 50% have an unfavorable view of him. And if former President Donald Trump decides to mount a comeback, he'll find his numbers are almost identical. 53% of Americans have an unfavorable view of him. We never quit! That leaves state and local races as the barometer of where Americans stand today. Right now, the voting blocs with the power to win elections are swaying away from the party that swept to power last November. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.